and this is what everybody needs to focus on. In 1960s, when I was a kid, 6% of Americans had chronic disease. What do I mean by chronic disease? Basically three categories plus obesity. One, neurological disorders, ADD, ADHD, speech delay, language delay, tics, Tourette's syndrome, narcolepsy, ASD, autism. Autism went from one in 10,000 in my generation, it's still one in 10,000 in my generation. I, how old are you? 55. 55. I bet that you've never met anybody with full-blown autism your age. You know, head banging, football or helmet on, non toilet train, non-verbal. I mean, my, I've never met anybody like that in my age, but in my kid's age, now one in every 34 kids has, has autism, and half of those are full-blown, meaning that description. Now, what's the conventional explanation for that? Well, I mean, there, there's no real explanation. You know, well, how they, do they try to they, explain? They try to say, well, we're just noticing it more, which is ridiculous because, first of all, there's all kinds of studies that say that the, you know, really good studies like uh, Irva hertz Pachado is a very famous scientist, epidemiologist, biostatistician who was commissioned by the California State Legislature to answer that question. She's at the UC, uh, at, at the Mind Institute at UC Davis, and she came back and said, no, the, the epidemic is real. It's not, you know, better diagnostic or changing diagnostic criteria. And so, and that, you know, any real scientist now, even the big backers like Paul Off, it won't, I don't think even he will say that. But nobody from CDC is actually going to stand up and say that. They certainly won't debate the point. But even more so, if if it's one, if if it's not an epidemic, then where are all where are the one in 34, 69 year old men who are wearing helmets and non toilet trained? You know, if you got autism, you live for, forever. It doesn't affect life span. You're gonna these kids are gonna be around forever. And they and but there's nobody my age who looks like that. So if it was if it was really better recognition, you'd see it in every age group, not just in children. Not only that, but it changes every year. It gets worse and worse every year.